Hey guys, Jacob here and yep, yeah, now we are in my room instead of the room I use always in my university. I have this, I have something special for you. So I took one of those LinkedIn tests. I chose the Python and I would like to share the results with you. So let's start. All right guys, so yeah, we are here on my LinkedIn profile right now. Uh, so in order to take a test, actually we have to scroll down and go to our skills and we just click take the skill. Okay, and we're doing the Python, right? Python programming language. Let's give it a try. And uh, so as we know, yes, yeah, stable internet connection, <laughs> I hope so. Uh, 15 minutes, uh, 70 percentile. And if I fail, I'll have to uh, make it again in a three months. So basically we'll try to make it. I'll show you how to also use Google for that. So basically, uh, because when you work, you have to use Google. Uh, we you have to find information quickly. This is how you are in a programmer, basically. So we'll try to do it, and yeah, let's go. So basically, here, what's the purpose of the self keyword when defining or calling instance method? So it means that no other arguments are required to pass into the method. No, there is no real purpose. <laughs> no, self refers to the instance whose method was called. Okay, so basically this is the answer, uh, I hope so. Self refers to the instance wo whose method was called, yeah. Uh, but let's make it check quickly. No, yep, good. Let's, let's click next. Uh, what is the static method? So yeah, static methods are called static because they are always return on. No, it's not true. Static method can access and modify the state or class or an instance. Class study methods can bound to either a class or is mostly a utility method. I mean, I know what a static static method is. So basically, uh, that's the method which don't require passing the self instance the, the self to the class. So you can just uh, call it from whatever place you want. Um, but yeah, how can I answer this? Yeah, I think this is the last. The last uh, they can't modify a class state. Yeah, you they're not using an. Uh, uh, arguments on the class so I think that's that's the one let's 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 go okay uh, what what built in list method would you use to remove items from a list so from the list so basically uh, when we want to delete elements from the list there's this pop method right but we can also Google it very quickly. Uh, remove an item from a list of Python. So we have the pop method, uh, actually. So there's this clear one also, but this like list.pop. So I would use this one because Dell it's deleting uh, like the whole list, right? So sure, let's, let's do this. Okay. Which of these is not a characteristic of named tuples? Okay, named tuple. I think I used that a couple of times. Named tuple, tuples, Python three. So you can you can assign a name of to each of the named tuples are just a memory efficient. No, no, no importance need to use. No. Each member of the name table can be indexed the directly just like in a regular tuple. I would go with the first one, but let's check it very quickly. Again, you can assign a name to each of the name pool members and refer to them similarly how you use in a dictionaries. I think this one is true, right? I mean, student collection, we created. Yes, I think this is the answer, but let's writing the clean name. oh shit all right guys i'll go with this one uh i'm not pretty sure but yeah we'll see we'll see <laughs> okay what's the term used to describe this code uh count fruit priest oh yeah this is the unpacking yeah top, i mean oh shit double assignment or double unpacking this is actually interesting because like you, when you do that you assign each variable to I mean, yeah, we'll assign each uh, variable. So let me just check out table unpacking. Oh yeah, table unpacking is with this asterisk assign, assign uh, whatever. I think this is, OK, 
Okay. Multiple assignment, topple unpacking. So, yeah, this is multiple assignments, right? So this is topple assignment probably, because I'm I was pretty sure that unpacking uh, has to use this asterisk sim or some. Yeah, multiple assignment. Exactly, exactly. We have twenty seconds, guys. So. So I I would go with this. Yeah, yeah. Let, let's go to tuple assignment. But still, I was wasn't really convenient. Okay, what's the correct way to to write a doc string? Uh, okay, this is uh, I think pretty. Okay, so basically we do we have those two options. Um, yeah, I I think it, this one with those. Uh, signs but let's 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 check it out so dots write dots test python let's check it out very quickly so basically yeah this is the doc test and yeah you see those those let me, yeah those signs here so basically this is a correct answer i'm pretty pretty sure okay guys the next one what is an instance method yeah, I would go with the first one. I'm pretty sure about this one. Okay. Well, which choice is the most synthetically correct example of conditional branching? Conditional branching. Oh, okay, I think. I get points. So yeah, if num, then we do elif, elif, and no, this is this is not good. <laughs> those, those, those. This is this is not correct. Uh, so it's if elif, yeah, yeah, exactly. I would go with this because we use if, then elif and else uh, in every other case. So yeah, let's go for this one. What happens when you use the built-in function n on a list? Okay, so and it actually uh, checks if there's an uh, object inside the list, and so but yeah, let me Google it very quickly. And Python. So basically, n and iterable is inside. Uh, so let's say n l. Yeah. So basically, this is this is the true. If n l element in a in a list is a true then it will it will uh yeah return true yeah exactly what is the runtime of accessing a value in a dictionary by using the key oh it's pretty sure uh it's o1 so basically we have we have the key so we have direct access to its memory located uh so that's that's pretty pretty sure uh yeah because on would be to the list. We have to iterate the whole list once and get the elements. So basically, uh, the answer here is O1. Okay, what are attributes? Um, attributes in Python. What the fuck? What is class attribute? What is just an attribute? Well, that's a weird question, actually. Just art attributes. I, I would see the class and instance. Okay, yeah, let's, let, let's, okay. So which, what is one of the most common uses of Python sys library? So yeah, we, we have those arc file uh, with the sys, basically a tuple. Okay, building module names. So the capture commonly arguments given at files runtime. Yeah, I would go with the this one. We'll see, guys. <laughs> All right. How does a default dict work? Oh shit! I'm pretty. I, I was using this, uh, but I forgot it totally. So yeah, you have to get it from collections. So. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm literally not sure about it. So I'm like really, really not sure about this. 
again what we have a double source okay sorry I, I i literally didn't know that uh this one i should have more time okay which statement does not describe the object in programming concept on encapsulation okay so encapsulation i protect the data from outside the intense yeah um, yeah exactly okay that was what i thought so it, which statement does not describe so it put that from outside yeah it, it's a good one a parent class is encapsulated and the only it only allows the data to be changed by methods fuck i think it's wrong yeah totally it keeps data and the methods that can be... yeah i would i would go with that the last one uh what is the purpose of an if if and else statement okay interesting question really so an if else statement tells the computer which chunk of code to run if the instructions you coded are incorrect i don't know <laughs> and if else statement runs one chunk of code if all the imports were successful huh? no fuck and if else statement executes one chunk of code if a condition is true but a different chunk of code if the condition is false and if a same as does the computer which chunk of code to run, there's enough memory to handle in which code to chunk run. Wow. Wow, that's interesting. Like those answers are crazy for me. And if someone tells computer which chunk if the instructions you coded are incorrect. Those answers are like really sneaky in my opinion, so it might not be true. Uh view results, wow. Guys, wow, we made it. <laughs> we made it we passed the test and i'm pretty i would like to see if um if we can see learn more about how you how your score was calculated yeah exactly i, I would like to uh oh shit. okay so basically i don't think we can check the answers but yeah i'll just add it to my skills and yeah thanks for watching guys uh let me know in comments uh if i made any mistakes i'm really curious about that and see you next time